The Delta COVID-19 variant, which was first detected in India, has overtaken the Alpha variant, better known as the UK or CAT variant, to make it the most dominant strain circulating in the UK. Public Health England has said, this is a concern because there is evidence that the risk of hospital admission is higher in people with the Delta variant, it said. Data also indicate that the variant is spreading rapidly through England's schools. Public Health England's latest weekly coronavirus data on circulating variants show there were 5,472 new cases of the Delta variant in the UK in the week to 26th of May, bringing the total number of cases of the variant detected to 12,431. In the week to 2nd of June a total of 278 people with the Delta variant attended hospital emergency departments, and 94 people were admitted to hospital overnight. The previous week 201 people with the variant attended A&D and 43 were admitted, most of those admitted had not been vaccinated. Number 1. It is rapidly spreading around the world. The Delta variant was first detected in India in late 2020 where it is thought to have contributed to the extremely high number of cases during the country's second wave of COVID-19. As of 14th of June, it had spread to 74 countries worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. 2. It appears to be more transmissible. One country where the Delta variant has taken hold is the UK, since the first cases were detected in February. It has rapidly overtaken the so-called Alpha variant, that was first detected in Kent, England and which was itself 43 to 90 percent more transmissible than pre-existing variants of SARS-CoV-2. Delta currently accounts for more than 91 percent of UK COVID-19 cases and is around 40 percent more transmissible than the Alpha variant, according to UK government estimates. 3. It may be associated with different symptoms. Headache, sore throat, and runny nose are now the most commonly reported symptoms linked to COVID infection in the UK. Number 4. People may be more likely to be hospitalized with the Delta variant. Most of the scientific data that has been published about the Delta variant so far has come from the UK, where researchers are using a rapid method, called genotype assay testing, to work out whether a positive COVID-19 sample contains a variant of concern, such as Delta, or not. Number 5. One vaccine dose is less effective, but two doses are still strongly protective, the same study suggested that people who had received a COVID-19 vaccine were less likely to be admitted to hospital with the Delta variant, compared to unvaccinated individuals, but strong protective effects were not seen until at least 28 days, after the first vaccine dose. Will we need booster doses against it? This is also currently unknown, but it should become clearer as Delta continues to spread, and more people receive additional doses of COVID-19 vaccines, laboratory studies on the ability of vaccine-induced antibodies to neutralize the virus, post-booster dose, should also help to answer this important question. Stay tuned for the latest news.